Hi, I'm Shelly, and we're at the 48th Annual Hope Watermelon Festival. We are back inside the Coliseum. I am with Albert, and I'm trying to say this right, with Van Coction. Is that correct? Yes. Did I say that right? That's good, yeah. Okay, good. He's going to tell us a little bit about what he's got to offer, and he's going to go into a little more detail because I just think this is really amazing. Albert? Hi. Um, so the base of the, our salves are castor oil beeswax, and that's uh, uh, all of them here. And this guy... This got pine tar in it as well, and we'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But that base of castor oil beeswax, that'll stimulate contractions of your organ muscles. So if you had acne, it'll tighten up the pores so much, it'll push out that what doesn't belong. If you had allergies, use the plain one for allergies, and you're putting it on your tongue, roof of the mouth, and it'll tighten up the nasal passages and dump the congestion out. Uh, if you have um, joint pain, you're actually rubbing it around the joint and then higher because your lymph system has got to move that fluid all the way up to your neck and then it comes back in circulation at your collarbone. So when you, let's say you had uh, wrist pain or arthritis in the fingers, come up at least mid forearm and then what you've got left over on your hands, rub it around your neck down in a collarbone. The lymph system's a little bit like a straw and uh, if you've ever drank a milkshake and or got ice stuck in the straw, uh, by rubbing it up higher, it'll clear it out. It makes it easier for that lymphatic fluid to come up and go back in circulation. That is very interesting. So castor oil is full of anti antioxidants or anti-inflammatories. It's the rice. Well, both beeswax, castor oil uh, are uh, uh, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, but the, the one thing, castor is very unusual in the properties of it. It's got something called ricinoleic acid in there. And that triggers your, uh, that's why uh, midwives would give it to a woman ready to birth a baby. They give her a huge dose, maybe, the, maybe more than four ounces, five ounces, something like in that range. I'm not a midwife, but uh, so, and that was because uterus is the strongest muscle in the human body and it would cause it to contract and out comes baby. Um, so that's what it's doing. That's really that base. Now, on if it was chronic, we have two. One has got rose and vanilla, and then the other has pine tar vanilla. And those are known to tell cells, they have these properties called vanilloids, and they're known to tell cells, follow the full genetic script. Don't make new old cells that can't do the job. I'm achy. My, I'm depressed. Uh, make new, like stem cell therapy, make new happy, healthy cells. Thank you so much for your time. You guys come out and see Albert at Van Coction.